Okay, well, welcome to the beginning of the week here with the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information about Bookmap, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial for 14 days. Uh, if you engage into the trial, you get access to the education as well. Uh, well, I mean, this is the education here uh, in the platform details uh, for you to ask about the platform. Uh, the f uh, furthering of that education uh, is for those that are in trial or current customers. They are beyond that point and they want to know more about understanding the order flow in real time and how to read it in Bookmap. Uh, and that's what we go through. And that webinar will begin in about 25 minutes. It's every day following this platform webinar. Uh, so uh, you guys can, um, uh, if you're in trial or a current customer, you can come to both. Uh, ask your platform questions here, I'll answer them, and then look at the live order flow uh, and uh, how to use Bookmap and apply it uh, in the uh, uh, advanced uh, analysis webinar. Okay. Any questions, you can reach out to us at bookmap, support at bookmap.com. Uh, let me show you where you can find it. Uh, go to bookmap.com here at the top. Uh, the free webinar is here, which uh, I imagine you clicked on to to get here. Uh, let's click on explore. There are some intro videos here, very short, uh, and then scroll down. Uh, there are, we have book map for equities, uh, as well as uh, all the futures um, that uh, you can connect via uh, these data providers and brokers. Okay, so you will need to have a data provider or broker, uh, and um, uh, these are the ones that we support. So let me know if you have any questions, because um, uh, there's a, a lot of different ways of connecting Bookmap here. We are a platform, just like uh, NinjaTrader or uh, you know TT or or whatever. Um, so uh, we can also connect via the API of NinjaTrader and TT. It's it's up to you. Um, so um, anyway, scroll down a little bit further. This is where you can find Bookmap. Now the basic version is 49 per month and is billed quarterly. Uh, you get that 14-day trial period. Okay, now these other um, uh, features are for the Bookmap Advanced and Quant that add upon the uh, basic. And it's 99 per month for the Bookmap Advanced. It's billed quarterly. You get the 14-day uh, free trial as well. The difference here is you get the ability to trade from the Bookmap chart, which is a nice advantage since we have a nice heat map that shows all of the liquidity uh, in the auction. Uh, right in front of you so you can react to that and then there's these proprietary indicators that we have for order flow understanding where larger players are with a large lot tracker uh, understanding uh, uh, iceberg orders where they're going off uh, looking at order book and balances here uh, and um, a correlation tracker as well okay and if you're a quant and uh, you need to hook up your own data and uh, do your uh, uh, data analysis um, well, the, you can reach out to us, and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, work some sort of solution to to meet to meet your needs. Okay. If you want a comparison, it's here. Uh, you can click on this link, and you'll see the uh, kind of map here of uh, all the different uh, features that you get with the with the different versions. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can also follow us here on Twitter, and then the uh, subscribe to our Facebook uh, channel or not Facebook, we do have Facebook as well, uh, the um, uh, YouTube uh, channel here. So uh, for those of you who uh, are new and uh, you want to learn more about Bookmap, I would uh, recommend starting with actually these uh, intro videos to get an overall feeling of what Bookmap is. And then features and components. So start with these. What is Bookmap? Like, uh, you know, what are some of these uh, features and components? Uh, and then uh, order flow video snippets. These are very similar to the webinar, uh, the advanced webinar. So looking at phenomena in the limit order book uh, and understanding that phenomena. Uh, Bookmap uh, shows levels of transparency that uh, are unique. And um, uh, these videos here uh, talk about that. They're very short, but in the advanced webinars, we go through these uh, concepts in detail, like flip of the book or absorption, exhaustion, uh, finding those larger players, uh, et cetera. Okay, so let's, uh, let's jump in and take a look at Bookmap. 
Uh, and uh, let's see what's moving here. Uh, larger time frame. Uh, we can take a look at the NASDAQ um, or, uh, or maybe uh, crude oil here. Uh, I also have some equities if you guys are interested in some equities. Okay. Okay, so here's NASDAQ. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's we can take a look here at the uh, at the Nasdaq. Now um, we're above the 6,000 level, and you can see the high liquidity in here. Now before I get involved into it, let me take a step back, okay? Because most of us uh, that have been trading for even decades here, this might look rather foreign to you. So let me describe what you're looking at here, and we'll start off with uh, taking layers of data off. Now, it's not that complex of a chart here. It's actually a very objective view of the market. Uh, we're showing where volume traded, and we're also showing you where they were bidding and offering. All right, and I'll, I'll explain further here as I, as I go through the process. So let's just take off layers of data here, uh, and um, let's look at just a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, of the NASDAQ, and here we are, okay? So um, we can see the 9.30 open. Uh, you can see, it, although we do have a, a, a volume subchart here, uh, and this is good. Uh, however, there are, there are only four data points for each candle. There are all sorts of data here that it, we have no idea uh, of what's going on, and that, that's a problem, because it's just open, high, low, close, and wicks and bodies here. That's all we're looking at. Uh, and uh, we're, we're trying to make financial decisions based on that. It's, it's kind of like reading the tea leaves here. It's um, uh, uh, a little a little bit of uh, voodoo-like. Uh, so uh, let's get into uh, some of the transparency that Bookmap is showing you to uh, offer you much more informed trading decisions. And we're going to start by just showing historical best bid and offer, and we're going to see microstructures within these five-minute candlestick periods. Okay, so uh, uh, that gives us a lot of insight here, just that alone. Like I can already see it down here. So let's go into this 930 open and take a look. All right, so we can you can see before 930, we're basing sideways. And right here, we break the top of this microstructure. We get a double bottom test here. Uh, and um, well, we broke it here, as you can see, but we come back to test again, and buyers are still here. Okay, so we're going to see a lot of uh, green uh, aggressive buying pulling price up, but you can see these structural areas within these five-minute periods, uh, and uh, they have significant meaning here. Okay, uh, and um, I like this little cluster uh, and sideways action, and then look at the drop. Okay, look where we come back to to test right in that area. Uh, that's the, none of that transparency is here within that candlestick. Uh, we have no idea. Uh, about that. Uh, so uh, now let's uh, let's turn on the volume dots and let's see exactly where uh, traders committed themselves uh, in the market. Okay. So uh, here's the uh, the 9:30 open and uh, we're looking for those green dots pulling the price up and here they are. Uh, we see a massive amount of buying. Okay. Uh, and uh, we come back and retest these areas here and look at the selling down here. Okay. The the dots here and let me zoom in. Uh, are showing us where the sellers and buyers are on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so uh, let's zoom in actually to um, uh, this this little cluster up here. Okay, and um, let me show you what the what this looks like. Historical best offer is right here with the red line. Best bid is with the green line. Okay, that's it. It's very very simple. Uh, historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then uh, we're showing you here with the dots the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer. And the volume that we're showing here uh, is uh, aggressive uh, orders, aggressive market orders. So for example, this green dot right here, uh, this, and we can use the uh, rollover tool or the uh, data tip tool. And you can see I get the date, the time, what was on the ask here, and then the volume. So this was for volume of three. Someone hit the market buy button uh, and uh, were filled with three by three contracts. They took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, this guy here, uh, he's for a volume of one and um, he hit the market sell button and took liquidity off of the best bid. 
Okay, so it's aggressive because uh, they want in the market. They they paid up the spread and they they didn't provide liquidity. They took liquidity. Okay, so uh, that's what you're seeing here in Bookmap. And uh, as I zoom out, though, note how uh, we will take that um, microstructural, very minute data here. In fact, we can continue to zoom in uh, and pull apart every single trade activity here, as you can see, uh, down to um, microsecond level, or you can even go down to nanosecond level. You know, you can see the timeline down here. So we're looking at billions of seconds, okay? But we don't trade off of those levels, right? So as I zoom back out, note how we will visually aggregate uh, this data, all right? And, um, uh, and I compress that timeline. There's so many trades that took place that we have to give the overall shape of what occurred there with this uh, pie display uh, of the volume. So we know that about three quarters of this uh, volume up here is aggressive selling, I mean buying, because it's all green, okay? So uh, let's hover over that dot and we see it's for a volume of 150, okay? So um, uh, it gives you the precise data if you want it, if you want to zoom in and really study and understand, look at how they lifted the offer here, okay? They swept the book upwards. Uh, they took all of that liquidity. All right, so uh, this is uh, uh, what we look at in Bookmap uh, all the time, uh, and we're getting a lot more transparency now just by understanding uh, these microstructures and understanding uh, the uh, commitment of these traders, what type of traders they are, uh, and where they traded, and how much. Uh, and all of that is lacking here. You, we just see a volume subchart, and that's it. Uh, so uh, uh, that level of transparency is uh, is unique. Uh, it's very similar to a footprint chart, except the uh, the footprint chart, for example, uh, what you're not going to get with a footprint chart is the um, these microstructures. Okay, and there's all sorts of good things in here. Uh, we can already see the look at how they broke this little structure, came back and tested right where they broke from, and we see them uh, continue to buy. All of that's going to be lacking here in a footprint chart. You're just going to see it aggregate back and forth, and um, uh, that's lacking transparency. Okay. Now, knowing all of this microstructure and commitment of the traders uh, with their volume is good. Uh, however, it's really uh, about half of the information here, or even quite a bit less than than that. Um, we also want to understand where they are offering and bidding in the market, okay? It's an auction, so we want to understand where, where they're lined up to provide liquidity. It gives tremendous insight. Usually the way that uh, we um, uh, access that information, it's going to be in the limit order book, okay, the dome. Here it is in book map, these data columns, okay? This is our price ladder. Uh, and then COB, this stands for current order book, okay? And you can see we have 10 levels on the in the book here that are, are lit right now uh, that are live uh, on the offer and then 10 on the, on the bid, okay? And this is the best bid and offer right here, all right? So now we have the current order book. We understand where traders are lined up. Now the problem with the current order book, uh, although it gives you insight for that current snapshot, uh, there's once that uh, that data changes, then you have no idea uh, unless you remember it and write it down or you know have a log in your mind somehow about how they were bidding or offering. What about the areas around it? Did they pull or did they stay in the book? Uh, what about um, did they uh, you know offer lower or higher, uh, etc. This gives tremendous insight uh, in understanding the behavior. At specific price levels, okay. Uh, the way Bookmap solves that issue is by showing this limit order book historically, okay. So we do that graphically here. All right. So I'm going to turn on the heat map, okay. So the the final piece here, uh, well, we have indicators and and I'll show you some of those, but um, the final piece here is we'll we'll take this limit order book and give it a grayscale heat map. Uh, graphical solution here. So now we know this is where we see the majority of the the sellers. And uh, what about on the on the uh, bid? Well, 
uh, there, you know, we see it's pretty pretty dark. It's starting to pop in here at uh, uh, 05 and, uh, and a quarter uh, and um, show a little bit of interest here. But um, uh, that's uh, the current uh, current market condition. And then previously, though, let's see. Uh, we'll take this data and uh, we, we project it on the chart historically. So you can see here, sellers were interested. They've been interested at this level of um, uh, 6,010 for quite a while. We also can read the areas around it. Look how they're, they're offering lower here. They're starting to front run these guys, 106 contracts, and they're starting to th show higher liquidity in front of it. Okay, now they're starting to bid a little bit lower as well. Now we're really understanding this auction. And uh, we can gauge the intent of these traders uh, in, uh, in book map here. All right, so that's uh, the final piece here. Let's take off the candlesticks uh, and let's look at the uh, add-on indicators as well. Uh, now I have an understanding of where they're committed uh, and uh, where they are on the offer and on the bid in real time and historically. And that's that's basically what Bookmap is showing you here. Okay. Um, so the um, understanding that uh, that auction um, in the, the behavior intent of these traders combined with that uh, uh, traded volume uh, gives you that that complete picture of the order flow. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's start to read it a little bit here. Uh, what's going on? Well, uh, here in the Nasdaq, um, I'm kind of curious to see that uh, we come up here and look out look at the uh, aggressive buying up in this area here. They're they're starting to dry out. Okay, in fact, they're getting more aggressive on the offer. Okay, we know that here, as we were just covering. But uh, what about the aggressive buyers up here? Well, I don't see so many. In fact, I start to see sellers come in here at this area. Okay, and um, uh, this is uh, getting kind of exhaust. The market's kind of exhausting out up here. Okay, now we might get another rotation here. Uh, maybe the the buyers will start to uh, scoop it up down at these lower levels here. But as we can see right now. And, and buyers are starting to come in now. Okay, now they're starting to lift the uh, lift the offer a bit. Okay, but sellers jump right back in. Okay, and now they're at, at 07. They're here. So, uh, com you know, combining this together, I'm looking for. Uh, a, a, I want to see this uh, o, this 05 and a quarter tested here, uh, and uh, it's looking like we have a little more selling at the uh, at the lows here. So I'm looking for. Uh, continuation to the downside okay so just putting the pieces together here about the, the transactions and the auction all right now it's not that to be honest uh, reading it uh, today it's not looking so clear uh, and let me explain why uh, I want to see more aggressive selling more red dots at lower lows okay here they come now they're starting to come in yeah, that that looks a little bit better, okay. Uh, but uh, I want to see it in this these areas here. I want to see them auction this out correctly, uh, and I want to see them committed. Uh, and then the limit order book looks good. I like seeing that oh this 07 here, okay. Here we go. So now you know now now we can see them uh, very, getting very aggressive here, okay. And we're just doing this objectively. We're starting to understand the, the the commitment of these traders and this auction, and then you can start to anticipate moves uh, based on what we know. Okay, so we see this uh, all day long, uh, especially in the advanced uh, uh, order flow webinars, uh, and um, this is what we do. Uh, we look for these things. We put these pieces together, uh, and um, uh, start to anticipate some moves. Now. The market is dynamic. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, like for example, you might see the aggressive buyers come in here, and that picture changes. But it, we still have the data here. Okay, we still know uh, where they're committed. Uh, and um, uh, if someone comes in and flips and turns the tables here, uh, let's say we get uh, down here. For example, we just made lows in this area here. Okay, we we breached this low. But we're right back into the uh, middle of the range now. Okay. Well, I mean, if uh, if buyers want to step it up, uh, they can. 
uh, in uh, this little area right here at O2. And uh, they can, uh, uh, you know, pre be pretty aggressive. Maybe the first stop would be O4 because that's where the liquidity is. Uh, and then O7 up here. Okay. At the moment, I don't see them. I'm looking for more selling to come in. All right, but uh, uh, yeah, this uh, I, I would like to see more selling down here. This is uh, not not the not the greatest. Uh, and in fact, now we just got another retest of it here, and we can see there's not that much selling. Okay, if the aggressive buyers want to come in up in this area here, and we see a lot of green, uh, you know, uh, aggressive market buys, this looks good. Okay, now we know they're not committed down here. There's liquidity at 04. The, the aggressive buyers can come in and, and, uh, and, and move it up into this area. Okay, so we saw in this retest here a little more selling down here. That's, uh, that's not bad. It's basically just some sideways action here. One of the things that uh, we, we look for uh, is that um, uh, this is where we broke hard, okay? And we saw, we saw them hit the bid pretty hard. Looking for retest back up to where we broke from, okay? To see if the sellers are still engaged up in this area here, okay? I would be looking actually here. Uh, to be honest, we broke here. But uh, I see most of the selling is up in this area here, about this 04 and a, and a half. Okay, here they come. Here come the buyers. Okay, so we, we now we've we've touched 04. Okay, and we also have insight now. Look at 04. Look, did, did, did these guys, did these traders here on the sell side, did they have intent to trade? No. We can answer that question emphatically. They pulled their liquidity. As soon as price came up, they pulled. So their intent to trade here was false. In fact, we can read this area here and we can see how they pulled that liquidity and added it up at higher levels. So this is bullish. Uh, they're, they're retreating here on the offer. And we can see that behavior here. Uh, let's see, JH, are you limited to one instrument uh, at a time? No, um, I have many markets open here. I have the ES, uh, I have uh, uh, gold, I have oil, uh, I have the uh, the 6E, uh, and um, uh, then I also have equities here, okay? I mean, just beautiful things here in equities. Like, um, uh, look how we came down, filled this high liquidity here, retested or came down further into this 179.50, uh, and um, uh, no interest, no nothing but uh, uh, no, no uh, complete exhaustion down here, but high liquidity. And we can see they came in here pretty hard. Uh, well, not not that hard, but uh, mostly buying. Here's our retest, mostly buying, looking for a nice move to the upside. And look at the at 180 up here. Look at how they they supported price now uh, on the uh, on the bid. Okay, high liquidity here at 180. Okay. This is a new understanding of price. It's between 180 and this 180.20. All right. Now you can also, uh, uh, you know, in Bookmap here we can uh, uh, detach some of these uh, into different charts and put them onto different monitors. As you can see here, I've, I've just detached the crude uh, chart and. Um, you know, you can resize it, etc. If I close it here, it's just going to pop right back into my main window. Okay, and uh, we can also just left-click, hold, and drag that over, and put this back to where it was. Okay. Yeah, you can trade from the chart here as well uh, with the book map advanced. Uh, you can start to uh, place your orders if you enable it here. There is also some uh, automated trading strategies here uh, that are, um, these are 
not your typical like looking for a crossover of the MACD or uh, uh, RSI or anything like that. Um, these are based on imbalances in the order book when you have an advantage uh, and then engage uh, your automated strategy. Okay. So this is part, it was, these were developed here to showcase our API. So you can develop your own proprietary indicators uh, in Java in Bookmap. All right. Okay, guys. Well, uh, that's it for now. Uh, let's let's take a peek back at this uh, Nasdaq and what what occurred here. Okay. Well, we we saw the uh, the move to 04 and then uh, uh, the just a little bit of sideways action and um, not it's not a lot of selling that took it down. Uh, you know, so uh, maybe some more sideways action in this area here. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, we'll. Uh, continue on tomorrow, uh, and uh, yeah, ask any questions that you have. Uh, happy to help you guys out. Okay? All right. Take care. Bye-bye.